for the first time in about a year, I am wiring the C320WS instead of using its Wi-Fi connection. Will this uh, Ethernet connection makes the camera faster? Please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell as super thanks from you will help finance product reviews and projects on this channel. One of the main advantages of the TAPO C320WS by TP-Link is its ability to connect to the internet via Ethernet through RJ45 port or simply we call it the LAN cable. This is on top of the Wi-Fi connectivity option of the C320WS. However, its Wi-Fi is only limited to the slow 2.4 GHz channel. There's a belief and I also believe in it. Wired is faster than wireless connection when it comes to communication signal. The wired option of the C320WS is useful when the installation site is behind a wall and has difficulty reaching the Wi-Fi router. To start, my wired installation requires me to retrieve the box of the camera where I store the waterproof connectors for the LAN cable for the past 12 months. The connectors include a fixed nut, a waterproof ring, and a waterproof jacket. All these three accessories will be attached to the LAN cable, while this O-ring will help waterproof the RJ45 plug and the network interface of the camera. Take note of my arrangement, it's left to right, because I'm going to uh, assemble the uh, accessory to the LAN cable from left to right. So if this is the LAN cable, then uh, take note that uh, you're going to insert with the uh, curve area here and that be sure that the thread is here. Look at that, there's a thread here. Okay, so you uh, insert the ring or the fixed nut, I mean, to the LAN cable. Then next is the waterproof ring uh, there's a, a slit here, so you just uh, expand that so that the cable can be inserted here. Okay. Then the uh, waterproof jacket will be uh, inserted like this because this one will hold the uh, waterproof ring. This is it. Then you insert that, the waterproof ring to the waterproof jacket and you uh, secure it with this fixed nut. So this is already tight. If you pull the cable, you cannot pull it already. So all you have to do is loosen this first. Uh, you just uh, tight this one, the uh, fixed nut, after you already uh, attach this to the cable or whatever, so that you can do some adjustments. And this ring will be attached first to the network, network interface of the camera. So just loosen this first and uh, attach or fix it or uh, secure it later when you attach the camera or the cable to the camera okay because this will be <laughs> this is used to lock for the first time in about a year i am wiring the c320ws instead of using its wi-fi connection will this uh, ethernet connection makes the camera faster That's it. So we're going to open the uh, front yard camera. Um, this is the front yard camera as of this moment. It's still connected to the Wi-Fi 2.4 uh, gigahertz channel. 
So what we're going to do is to uh, remove the camera from the network so that we could uh, reset it and uh, reconnect using the LAN. So we'll go to uh, the settings, camera settings, and you have here remove camera. So we have to remove the camera. Okay. So it will be removed from the ta from the account. Then it will be deleted from the device list. Then after that, um, we are going to uh, reconnect the uh, or reinstall and re re, re we we'll have to set up again and pair it again with the tapu app, but this time using the LAN uh, connection. We have to remove. So on the uh, home page of Tapo app, we can you can see here uh, the frontier camera has already been removed. So what we're going to do now is uh, add it again. So on the upper right hand corner, there's the plus sign. We have to add that C320WS. Okay. Then uh, we have selection here, Ethernet wired or wireless. We already uh, connected the LAN uh, cable, so we choose uh, Ethernet. Next. Then uh, let's check if the light is already solid amber. <laughs> it, was all, it was already uh, solid amber. So I'll uh, tap the button. Now the app is looking for the device. I heard the sound. I think that's already uh, an indication that the uh, ne network has found the device. Okay, then we have to name the device again. Uh, let's name this as front yard camera. Front yard camera. Okay, next. Then you have to put that on the front yard, of course. Then you have to choose the uh, icon. Let's look for the appropriate icon. This is the appropriate one. Next. It's configuring now. And the setup is complete. Then uh, you are also given the option here to connect it wirelessly. Okay. But since you are now testing uh, the LAN connection, for about a year, this camera has been connected to the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity or the Wi-Fi network using the 2.4 gigahertz channel. So done for now. So it's complete. It sounds good. So uh, you have here an offer for the Tapo Care Cloud. Uh, skip for the moment. Okay. I already uh, set up the uh, firmware update. So there you can see the Frontier camera. Let's open and there it goes. Since I reinstalled the camera, then on Google Home I have also to reconfigure the camera. You can see down here um, there's a device linked to you. The name is Tapo Camera. Then you have to tap that. Change the name to front your camera. Save. Then also you have to add to the to, to the home again. Move device again, it's in the front yard. Then you turn on the voice notification again. Okay, so the setup is already complete. On the Tapo app, also for automation, I have to reconfigure this if it's needed i think it's not it's no longer uh i don't have to uh change the settings on the only thing is i have to turn this on nothing has changed so that's it so this is the uh, lag test 
again I'm comparing the Tapo C320 WS and the C400 just like what I did uh, lately I'm also uh, synchronizing the time clock of the two cameras that's 16 20, 20. you can see here on the right side of the top of camera that's 16 20, 20. on the C3400 of uh, Xiaomi it's also 16 20, 20. you can see there 16 20, 20. so that's synchronized but obviously the video the footage are not the same so one of the cameras is obviously delayed so let's check I am using the timeline of the editing uh, software so that I could get it perfectly look at this on the left side is the C400 and you can see there my right hand is beginning to raise but on the right side the tapo camera my hand still on my side look at this one okay so my right arm is already up on the c400 while on the top of cam my hand is still down so let's try to play this one And the result surprises me, since my first test had TAPO C320 WS delayed by only about 24 frames. At that time, TAPO was connected to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi channel, while Xiaomi C400 was on 5 GHz. But here, TAPO is already connected via the Ethernet port and the delay is even more, about 50 frames. Wide camera is supposed to be faster than wireless. I'm doing the second test, this time at different time of the day, in the morning, when uh, no one is using the LAN port of my router. Let's see if internet usage in my household has something to do with the result of the first test. I'm going to raise my right arm in... I stop in the middle. Then I'm going to raise above, back to the middle, and down. Another test to the middle, then up in the middle and down apparently there's a delay comparing it with the c400 of xiaomi there's no significant difference of the tapo c320 ws performance it still lags about 40 frames behind the c400 for the tapo c320 ws i could say based on my own testing wireless or wired connection doesn't matter let me emphasize though that my own test is not as accurate as the laboratory test usually done by manufacturers it may be because my own unit is just near the wi-fi router and there's no huge wall blocking my device you meet off wi-fi or wired connection or lan connection depending on your installation site if you want more of this kind of video please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Dekan selamat, aku si Jun Tariman, Hightech, bye-bye.